Well, it looks like the creativity is really flowing today. Yeah, I just uh, finished painstakingly copying the Mona Lisa. Yeah, it looks more like Mrs. Arkham to me. Coincidence. I am running out of supplies, though. Uh, I need more paint. I don't think the hospital has room in their budget for that. Not with these cutbacks. It's becoming a trend. And the food is getting worse, too. Just how uh, serious is the financial situation at Arkham Asylum? Well, the cost of caring for each individual patient isn't necessarily cheap. And the trouble caused by you posting these videos isn't exactly helping. You know you're scaring away the hospital's funding. I told you, that's not me. It's a friend of mine putting them up on YouTube. Well, then get him to stop. Well, if you say so. Well, that way the hospital can focus their money on treatment. Treatment that I think is working. I told you painting would be a good idea. I'm not much of an art lover. I just like uh, getting my hands dirty. Everyone has a favorite artist. Who's the guy that cut his own ear off and gave it to a prostitute? Uh, Van Gogh. That's him. I like him. Well, he was a sensational painter. I just like that he cut his ear off. Now that is art. Here, have a seat. I've uh, been working on this all day. Where I gotta get the face right. Let's go. I'm not sure I'm entirely comfortable with this. It's just a portrait. It's not a nude study. Yet. That is not going to happen. Art is all about getting an emotional response. Take the uh, Mona Lisa, for example. You know, people travel from all over the world just to visit the Louvre to see it. You know, some people, uh, well, they get all excited and point. Others stop and scrutinize every detail. And some wackos, they even start crying. You know, if you really want to work your audience, imagine what would happen if some guy took it off the wall, cut the face out, poked holes in the eyes, and tied a string around it and wore it as a mask around Paris. Well, then you'd have everyone getting excited, pointing, snapping pictures, and hundreds crying. Much better response than just sticking it on a wall somewhere. How boring. Besides, it's funny, most people wear masks all the time. Yeah. Some people hide. Art frees people. After all, you, you can't spell an artist without anarchist. Um, I'm pretty sure you can. No, I'm running out of, uh, out of brown. I'm gonna do your hair in yellow. But it looks good. Uh, you should try going blonde. It suits you. Not everyone hides who they are. Well, I guess they do. You'll know, find out soon enough. After all, that's the way most abusive relationships start. You don't realize them until you're stuck with them. At least with me. What you see is what you get. You see, I, uh, I paint my inner self on the outside. Well, we'll find out who's right soon enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I took your advice. If you want something, you take it. We set a date for the wedding. Am I invited? I love wedding cake. It's going to be a small ceremony. Well, I can be Guy's best man. Well, Guy's brother is going to be Guy's best man. Where are you going on your honeymoon? You know, this has officially gone past the subject of art therapy. You're lucky you still have me as your doctor for now. For now? Arkham Asylum is going through some changes. Uh, budgets are getting stretched and people have been laid off. And we hired. And they'd better not try to separate us again. Well, I'm just saying that I won't always be here. Guy doesn't... He doesn't like living in Gotham. He says it's too violent. Well, he's been offered an internship at Star Labs in Metropolis, so it's possible we're gonna move. And you're finished. You want to see the masterpiece? My true self. Well, that is how I see it. Dr. Quinzel, Mr. Kopsky has arrived. He's waiting in your office. No, oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, thanks, Pearl. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, a guy and I have to go over some last minute plans. We're gonna have to cut this session short. But keep up with the painting. They're looking good.